we now estimate the f of uh, 4.04 comma 0.92 using linear approximation so first uh, i'm going to consider a equal to 4 and uh, b equals uh, 1 because uh, 4 is closer to 0 0.04 and 1 is uh, closer to 0 0.92 and this is the linear approximation formula that is f of xy approximately equal to f of a comma b plus fx of uh, a comma b this is the partial derivative of uh, f of xy with respect to x uh, at a comma b times uh, x minus a uh, plus fy of a comma b this is the partial derivative of uh, function f of xy with respect to y at a comma b times uh, y minus b so now i'm going to rewrite this uh, formula uh, by substituting the value of a equal to 4 and b equals 1. So therefore, we will have uh, f of x comma y. This is uh, approximately equal to f of a is 4. So therefore, this is 4 comma and b is 1. It becomes uh, f of 4 comma 1 plus uh, fx of uh, a comma b, which is uh, 4 comma 1 times uh, x minus a, that is uh, x minus 4 plus fy of uh, a comma b that is uh, fy of 4 comma 1 times uh, y minus b b is 1 so it becomes uh, y minus 1 let's see this uh, equation as equation number 1 so basically we have to determine these uh, values the function values f of 4 comma 1 and we have to uh, find the partial derivative of the function with respect to x evaluate at uh, 4 comma 1 and then a partial derivative of uh, the function with respect to y evaluate at 4 comma 1 so we need to determine these three values substitute uh, into the same equation so that we get an equation for uh, the linear approximation equation for f of x comma y and then we just have to plug in this value that is uh, 4.04 for x and 0.92 for y to de uh, determine the uh, approximate value of uh, f of 4.04 comma 0.92 so first uh, let's uh, find uh, f of 4 comma 1 we can find this by replacing x by 4 and uh, y by 1 into the given function equation so first uh, let me copy the function that is uh, f of x comma y and uh, this equals uh, x squared over y squared plus 1 so from this uh, we can determine f of uh, 4 comma 1 by replacing x by 4 and uh, y by 1 so therefore this becomes uh, 4 squared divided by y is 1 it becomes 1 squared plus 1 and this equals 4 squared is 16 1 squared is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so this is uh, 16 divided by 2 and this equals 8 so we get the value of uh, f of 4 comma 1 and this equals 8 now we find the partial derivative of the function with respect to x so i'm going to differentiate this uh, equation this is the equation uh, or the function so let's differentiate this with respect to x so we will get uh, fx of uh, x comma y and uh, this equals since we differentiate uh, partially with respect to x we can treat uh, all the y variables as constant so i can write down this as 1 by y squared plus 1 times of x squared uh, but this we have to differentiate so we just have to differentiate only x squared here because uh, this is 1 by y squared plus 1 is treated as constant and then we will have uh, x squared in the numerator so we have to differentiate the x squared differentiation of x squared is uh, 2x so this will be 2x so we get uh, 2x over y squared plus 1 and this implies we can now determine fx of 4 comma 1 because we have to find uh, this partial derivative at uh, 4 comma 1 so let's find uh, fx of 4 comma 1 by replacing x equal to 4 and y equal to 1 into this expression so therefore this becomes uh, 2 times of 4 divided by y is 1 so it becomes 1 squared plus 1 and this equals 2 times 4 is 8 divided by 2 and this equals 4 so we have determined this uh, fx uh, 
of uh, 4 comma 1 equals 4. Now let's differentiate this uh, function with respect to y since uh, we need this uh, uh, value fy of 4 comma 1. So when we differentiate this with respect to y, before we do that, I'm going to rewrite this function as like this, that is uh, f of x comma y. This equals uh, this divided by y squared plus 1. I can rewrite this as uh, y squared plus 1 raised to the power of negative 1. Now let me uh, do the partial derivative with respect to y. So therefore this becomes fy of x comma y and this equals, so we have to treat the x as constant. So we keep the x squared as it is. Now we apply the power rule as well as the chain rule to find the derivative of this expression with respect to y. So therefore this becomes negative 1 times of uh, y squared plus 1 and using the power power rule it will become negative 1 negative 1 and this equals negative 2. So I put this power negative 2. Then we have to apply the chain rule to differentiate uh, y squared plus 1. Differentiation of y squared plus 1 and this equals 2y because the derivative of y squared is 2y. So I multiply this by 2y. So let's uh, put this in a simple form. We have negative here and x squared and 2y. So I can put the numerator as a negative 2x squared y. I'm going to write this uh, negative power as positive power, but the term goes to the denominator. So it becomes y squared plus 1 raised to the power of positive 2. So now that we have determined this uh, function, that is a partial derivative with respect to y, we can evaluate this at the point 4 comma 1. So I'm going to find fy of 4 comma 1 by replacing x by 4 and y by 1. So therefore this becomes negative 2 times of x is 4. It becomes uh, 4 squared times y is 1 and then divided by y squared that is 1 squared plus 1. This is uh, quantity squared. So this equals 4 squared is 16 and 16 times negative 2 is uh, negative 32 and this divided by 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so it is equal to negative 32 divided by 4 and this equals negative 8. So we have determined the value fy of 4 comma 1, which is negative 8. So now that uh, we have determined the values of uh, f of 4 comma 1, uh, sorry about it, this equals uh, 8 and fx of 4 comma 1 equals 4 and fy of 4 comma 1 equals negative 8. We can substitute these values into this uh, linear approximation equation. So therefore, it becomes uh, f of x comma y. This is approximately equal to replace f of 4 comma 1 by 8. So it becomes 8 plus uh, replace f of uh, fx of 4 comma 1 by 4. So it becomes 4 times of x minus 4 plus uh, replace fy of 4 comma 1 by negative 8. So this becomes negative 8 times of uh, y minus 1. Let's simplify this. So this approximate equal to, uh, let me write down the x and the y terms first. So 4 times of x is uh, 4x and negative 2 times 8y is uh, negative, I'm sorry, negative 2 times, negative 8 times y is negative 8y. We then have the numbers 8 and 4 times negative 4 is negative 16 negative 8 times negative 1 is uh, positive 8. So we have 8 plus 8 is positive 16 and then we have this negative 16 so they get cancelled out. So approximately we get this uh, equation as that is uh, 4x minus 8y. So this is the linear approximation equation. Now we can replace this to determine the value of this one that is we can estimate f of 4.04, 4, uh, 4 comma 0.92. So we plug in x equals uh, 4.04 and y equals uh, 0 0.92 into the linear approximation equation. So therefore this becomes uh, f of 4.04 comma 0.92 and this is uh, approximately equal to, we replace uh, x by 4.04. So it becomes uh, 4 times of uh, 4.04 minus uh, 8 times of uh, 0 0.92 and uh, this is approximately equal to 4.04 times 4 
this equals uh, 16.16 minus uh, 8 times of 0.92 this equals uh, 7.36 so when we do this uh, subtraction we get uh, get uh, approximately 8.8 .8. so this is the approximate value of uh, this function at uh, 4.04 comma 0.92